One of the most beautiful processes that you will ever witness in life is the calm after the storm. And that is exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video with a DIY outdoor oasis makeover. Last summer, my siblings and I decided to gift our parents with a, an outdoor oasis and then the winter storm came in and ruined that entire process for them. They really enjoyed it all year long and this was so heartbreaking. So this year they decided to add a concrete slab in their backyard to redo this oasis. And although the process, you know, was kind of tedious getting started, the outcome was absolutely gorgeous. There were some items that I was able to record myself. And then there were other items like this where my father in love captured the process with me for me so that I could share it with you guys. So here is the tent all put up and now I'm going to go in today and clean, decorate, and organize it and show that process with you. This would be the perfect Father's Day gift if you have a mother or father in, um, or mother and father-in-law that absolutely loves the outdoors and they're restricted with traveling right now and they don't have a patio attached to their homes. This is the perfect gift for them like they have absolutely enjoyed it and as I said it before um, my siblings and I decided to just kind of go in and we all made this happen um, for them for their Mother's Day gifts like we did the the furniture for Mother's Day then we did the tent for Father's Day and in the end you know it all came together beautifully so I'm going to be sharing the process of me decorating and organizing it with you guys on today. I hope that you enjoy this and I hope that you will find inspiration for your outdoor oasis and not be limited, you know, by not having a space. So the first thing I did was I picked up some outdoor pillows from Hobby Lobby. Um, they were 50% off, so I think they were around $12 a pillow. And I thought they were really cute. I just, I didn't want to crowd their sofa with pillows. But when I found these at Home Goods, they were $19.99. I thought they were absolutely perfect for the space. Um, as I was designing, you guys will see me step back and, and redo it and all of that. So um, I didn't like that, the way that the pillow was here. So you'll see me kind of transforming a little bit later on. So once I got the pillows in the space and the space cleaned out, um, I made a few minor adjustments and I also wanted to um, go in and kind of adjust the way that their furniture was arranged. I think furniture arrangement is so important in every room and especially in your outdoor spaces. And the one thing about this tent was that the first one was more of a rectangle or a square and this second one was an octagon. So we had to be really um, smart about the way that we arranged the furniture on the inside of the tent. So once I got everything arranged, um, I started just putting everything in place one by one, putting all the pillows and things like that in place. And, um, just really maximizing the space and giving them as much room as they needed to move around. They also um, have lots of grandkids. So my nieces or our nieces and nephews are over there a lot. So I wanted to make sure that the kids had enough room to kind of move around and, you know, be kids as well. So I definitely wanted to keep that in mind. Now I'm going to move the table in because the kids love having breakfast out in the patio on the table and now that we have the concrete it's going to be so much you know easier for them to kind of maneuver around because last summer we did not have the concrete and i think that also contributed to um the tent collapsing or london bridge falling down okay y'all i'm sorry i had to put that in there but um also i don't think i introduce myself properly. For those of you who are here for the first time, I'm not, my name is Melanie and I absolutely love sharing things um, around, you know, decorating, celebrating and living everyday life for less. So I do love that um, as well. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself before we move on to the next portion. I absolutely love this faux orchid arrangement. It is so adorable and it's so calming. I did a live orchid on our patio last year and it did last 
a few months, but I was just so heartbroken when it died. So I love this one because it looks so realistic. The next thing I want to add is a tray. I got these trays last year at Walmart and um, I just think they look so well with the furniture and this is patio furniture is very similar to mine. Um, when they came over, they loved it. And so um, we decided to get them one as well. This patio furniture was from uh, the Home Depot. So absolutely love this. We wanted to wipe everything down um, also outside. So that's exactly what you'll see me doing. You'll see me wiping down like all the dust and um, pollen because pollen is like insane here in Alabama. So I'll wipe all of that down as well. I'm listening to some music, but I can't share my place playlist with you guys without getting a strike. So definitely wanted to take the opportunity to wipe everything down and you can kind of see all of the pollen and dust on my pants because like I said, the pollen here in Alabama is insane, but pollen season is almost over and I'm so excited about it. I'm loving the way it is all coming together. Um, it just looks, oh, it just looks so beautiful. My father in love also wanted to add some flowers. So I am going to be doing that as well a little bit later, but I wanted to add in some of the their personal things that they had inside of the tent um, to make their life a little bit easier when they're out there throughout the day. And so they had this little side table and I thought it was super cute. It also doubles as a storage, which is a great place for the kids to um, keep like their toys and things like that to keep everything neat and tidy in the space. I know it looks like really like it's not a lot of space, but as you guys can see, I can get between the, the table and the, um, the, um, the side chair and then I added a beautiful candle that said togetherness on it the candle was from Ross it smells so good you guys so fresh and so clean and so tropical it just smells really good and then for the um, magazines I just wanted to add like a couple of summer magazines out there for their reading pleasure I will also add in some storage um, on the bottom of the table for like toys and other things like that so when I went to Walmart, I saw these super cute containers. They kind of look like the honeybee, um, honeycomb kind of look with the brown. I just felt like it was a great pop of a, a contrasting color against all the brown on the floor and on the table. And this is where they store like their bug spray, um, their insect repellent, their lighter, and you know, they can also store like um, throws and toys for the kids if they want, whatever. I mean, the possibilities are limitless and they were really big, a big size for like $8 at Walmart. And then I added two ferns on the base of the, um, entryway. You could also zip and close this all the way around, but I just wanted to kind of feel like you were entering into a new space and I wanted it to be really welcoming. And my father in love was all over the plant. So we decided to, um, add two ferns there and then I add two trees on top of those on either side of those as well and then of course I wanted to light the candle to give them the you know the whole ambiance of the space um, once I got finished designing and decorating the space so um, and then they'll come in and make their own personal tweaks but I just wanted to give them you know um, a good structure in terms of having the kids moving around and things of like that <music> about this tent is the fact that there was a space to add light so we were able to add in this battery operated lighting and you guys I think it's like solar and battery mix because it gives off so much light at night 
and um, they really enjoy that as well because they're able to enjoy the patio um, oasis at night as well. So I really love that factor. Um, so I want to lower it just a little bit, but then I'm afraid that with the wind, it may blow too much and hit one of the kids. So right now it's still that way, but we'll kind of see if I, we'll kind of see. I also added the two ottomans on the side because they were in front of the chair. So if they wanted to turn the chairs a little bit the long way and watch the kids play outside, they could do that and prop their feet up. Ooh, I'm so sorry about the wobbly camera you guys like it is a heavy camera i need to get my lightweight camera but it makes my hands wobble a lot so i'm going to try to stabilize it a little bit but my apologies for the wobbly camera so with that being said this is where we are this is the finished product um i wanted to just kind of share that entire process with you guys if you you know don't have a designated outdoor covered patio this is kind of how you can create one if I were to make any suggestions um, in terms of the upgrades that we made from this year, um, from last year to this year, number one would be to do the concrete up front. I think it helps to seal the structure much longer. Number two, invest in outdoor, indoor outdoor rugs and furniture. Um, pillows and things like that so you don't have to worry about mildewing. This rug looked terrible from sitting directly on the ground, but my father-in-law was able to clean it and it looked brand new. I got it from Home Depot. And then number three, invest in lighting so that you can enjoy your day um, and your night on the patio. So those would be my three tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.